Hello friends, we have started new topic that is nucleic acid. In the last video, we discussed about two types of nucleic acid, DNA and RNA. The monomeric unit that is nucleotide. Then we discussed about three components of nucleotides, nitrogenous bases, pentose sugar and phosphate group. We also discuss about types of nitrogenous bases, adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine and uracil. Then we discuss about two types of pentose sugar, ribose sugar and deoxyribose sugar. We also discussed about nucleoside and polynucleotide, primary structure of polynucleotide and its secondary structure. We discussed about Chargaff's rule. You can refer my video. The link is given in the description box. In this video, we are going to discuss about structure of double-stranded DNA. The three-dimensional structure of double-stranded DNA is double helix, which was first described by Watson and Crick in 1953. Hence, it is known as Watson and Crick model. Here, we will discuss about BDNA. So, let us see features of BDNA. BDNA, it is classic structure, two polynucleotide strands coiled around each other to form double helix. Helix is right-handed and the strands are anti-parallel. So this is the structure of BDNA. This is the two polynucleotide strand which are coiled around each other known as double helix structure and the helix is right-handed. It can be explained that if we keep our right hand like this, the thumb denotes the excess of the DNA and the fingers, these represent the direction in which strands are coiled. Anti-parallel means if one strand is in this direction 5 dash to 3 dash, the other strand has 5 dash to 3 dash in this direction. So these are anti-parallel to each other. Hydrogen bond is present between complementary base pairs. There is three hydrogen bond between guanine and cytosine and two hydrogen bond between adenine and thymine. Major and minor groups are present. Helix diameter is 20 angstrom. Helix diameter is distance between two strands. Helix rise is 3.32 angstrom that is distance between two base pair. Helix pitch it is equal to 33.2 angstrom that is length or distance of one helical turn. Number of base pair per turn is 10.4. This is the major groove, this is the minor groove. Helix diameter that is distance between the two strands is 20 angstrom. Helix rise or the distance between two base pair is 3.32 angstrom. Helix pitch that means distance of one helical turn is 33.2 angstrom. And the number of base pair per helical turn is 10.4. Sugar and phosphate chain forms the backbone. Base pairs are inside like steps of staircase. This type of the DNA or the BDNA occur in normal physiological conditions. So this is the sugar phosphate chain and this forms the backbone of the double helix. These nitrogenous base pairs which are present inside, these forms the steps of the staircase. Now the question is that why DNA is twisted or why there is need for the DNA to twist. In order to tightly pack in the nucleus of all cell, DNA is coiled into chromosome. And this starts with twisting of the two strands due to the interaction between DNA molecules and water. Complementary nitrogenous bases, these are held together by hydrogen bonds and these are like the steps of the staircase. These nitrogenous bases are hydrophobic. Then the sugar and phosphate chain, these forms the backbone and these are hydrophilic in nature. We know that cytoplasm and cytosol contain liquid that are water-based. Hence sugar and phosphate backbone 
that are present outside are in contact with fluid and this is favored because sugar and phosphate backbone is hydrophilic nitrogenous base are inside that is they are away from fluid and this is also favored because nitrogenous bases are hydrophobic also when dna twists it reduces the distance between the nitrogenous base and sugar phosphate strands similarly since the strands are anti parallel they fit together firmly and due to this twisting of dna and firm fitting of anti parallel strands it results in reduction of flow of fluid between bases so we can conclude that twisting of dna it is the outcome of hydrophobic and hydrophilic interactions and this interaction is in between dna molecule and water content in a cell dna replication and protein synthesis which we will discuss in detail in separate videos depends on double helical nature of dna so this is the double helical structure of the dna sugar and phosphate backbone which is hydrophilic in nature is in contact with the water content of the cell because it is outside nitrogenous bases these are hydrophobic and these are inside or these are away from the water content of the cell it has two polynucleotide strand which are in anti parallel direction as a result of which these fit firmly also there is twisting in the double stranded dna or the two strands are coiled around each other as a result of which the distance between the two nitrogenous bases reduces and this reduces the flow of water between the bases or it reduces the interaction of the bases with the water content of the cell hence this double helical structure or the twisting of the dna is favored one of the important fact that we should understand or we should keep in mind for the further discussion of the double stranded dna is that in addition to hydrogen bonding between complementary base pairs we have seen that there is hydrogen bonding between the complementary base pairs guanine pairs with cytosine by triple hydrogen bond and adenine pairs with thymine by double hydrogen bond in addition to that the outer edges of bases these are exposed and are also available for hydrogen bonding so the outer edges of the bases are exposed and these are available for the hydrogen bonding to which the proteins that play important role in the replication or in the other processes of dna expression or the gene expression comes and bind hence dna is easily accessible for other molecules which are helpful like the proteins that are helpful in dna replication or in its expression this is all for today's video in the next video we will discuss about adna and zdna we will also see the comparison of three types of the dna that is bdna adna and zdna so stay tuned if you like this video please hit the like button share it and subscribe my channel thank you